Hey, what's going on, fellas? This video is for a customer who called me the other day wanting to buy one of these silicon carbide nozzles. And I wanted to give him a demo of these on waste oil because I hadn't done one on this small version yet. Well, it does pretty good, but one of the things I wanted to point out in this video is the temperature you get from waste oil. It, when you read in the forums of foundries and stuff, people claim that you get a hotter flame. I think maybe you're getting more energy possibly, but the temperature is definitely not hotter. So it is possible you're getting more kilowatts or more BTUs per um, liter, but as far as temp, it's just not the case. Um, propane on a good burner is up to 450 degrees hotter than waste oil. Diesel is up to 400 degrees hotter. And I haven't tried gasoline yet. Check that out, the Vena Contracta, just ripping that oil bud apart. You can see the oil budding out of the pen stock there. And just being ripped away by the high velocity air. That's how this atomizer works. There's a supersonic air jet ripping that oil stream into a mist. And it's also mixing the oxygen with that very rapidly. That's why this type of burner is better than the forced air. But as you can see, we're just struggling to get over 1950. The top temp I have is like 2,090 degrees or something, but not on this little combustor. This is with the combustor all the way on the ground because uh, that gives you more fuel. The valve's open all the way on this thing. I have a very long oil hose and a long oil hose can reduce your oil flow. It's even though it's at 3 8 ID line. This thing performs pretty good for a waste oil burner though. I definitely like it. It's going to run forever. The back plate does not get red hot. It's in pretty good shape. You see there we're still 1900 degrees. That's very common for a waste oil burner. So there you have it fellas. Just a quick little video archive on waste oil flame temp in the forums and stuff when you do research on the subject. One is led to believe that waste oil produces the hottest foundry temperatures, and that is not what I have found in practice. The hottest is propane by about 50 degrees. Right under that is diesel fuel. But um, just wanted some quick little archive information on uh, that. And I also had a couple of customers wanting to know how this thing performs on waste oil. A guy gave me a call the other day and I told him I would throw this video up and I'm about seven days late. I apologize, brother. I've been building steam guns like crazy. I haven't had time to run the test. Guys, with a very special burner called the Baby Godzilla, I was able to achieve 2,094 degrees. The baby Dragon can only hit 1840 on waste oil and that's a pretty ferocious little burner so I am glad to see that the silicon carbide burner reached a higher temperature than this I'm gonna go ahead and start populating the data for those nozzles over here this is just kind of a thrown together information list here this is gonna be the final layout but um, eventually I'm gonna populate all this information so I have exact details when customers contact me because a lot of factories and stuff do contact me from overseas mostly and um, it's just good to have this data on hand for them so I think I seen like 1938 on the high temp which is good we outdid the baby dragon and uh, did not have any information here just for you guys who are looking for oh wait a second look at this this is another test that I did a while back. I, I have a video called Waste Oil Burner Temp Record. So the silicon carbide nozzles actually do have a higher temperature than anything I, else I've done. And the reason why I think that's kind of impressive is, is because this particular burner glows red hot. And usually the hotter the combustion chamber, the hotter the flame. I mean, that thing was glowing too, but nothing like the Baby Godzilla does. So yeah, that's I need to write that down over here. This is the bigger burner though. Um, I sell two different sizes. So we'll definitely have to take a look at that.